Hey you guys, I know I disappeared for a while, but got a little crazy down here. Before we take off some highlights from Tim and Faith's Nashville Rising show for flood relief, here's Taylor Swift's take on things. Just to help each other and the neighbors help out. It's been really inspiring. You hear everything from you know people losing possessions and, and basements and things like that being flooded to you know entire houses being gone. FEMA and and, and insurance, all that. They're, they're, there's stuff available. I mean, people are, but there are going to be people who fall through the cracks who are not going to be able to get that stuff. Once the rebuilding starts and the financial part of it comes and the people that, that don't qualify uh, for, you know, the flood insurance or for insurance in general and some of the other plans, this money here can go out at the end and, and help the ones that couldn't get assisted by the other resources. A lot of times we don't say enough about our heroes. And I tell you the day the flood hit, there was heroes everywhere, baby. The other day we showed you Luke Bryan and Jason Aldean going into the uh, Nashville Rising show. One of the surprises, which was right across the street from the Country Music Hall of Fame here over at the uh, Bridgestone Arena, it's called now. One of the surprise moments was Sandra Bullock's take on the Deep Purple classic, Smoke on the Wall. This is the place that I love the most in the world. Thank you so much for coming tonight. As soon as I even heard a rumor that they were putting something together, I just volunteered. Everybody here for the show uh, on, on every level has just said, we're in, we're doing it. There was no way I was going to you know, miss the opportunity to even do a little, little thing like uh, be a part of this show here tonight. Jesus, take the wheel. It's a great thing for a great cause and a fun night and you know all those things mixed together it's just it makes for a really great night. Please we want to be a part of this and make a difference help make a difference. The news today from Opryland was that they now plan to reopen November 15th that's the hard date now some drawings of the new Opryland uh, complex have been released in the meantime of course the shows have been moved to the Ryman Auditorium the Armory wherever they need to go and you can hear Grand Ole Opry weekend here every Sunday night at 7 o'clock. If you're a country music fan, come on down, tell them you're from the state of Washington. They will embrace you. They're so glad to have tourists here. The economy is definitely taking a hit from the, the flooding. They will give you a big old moon pie and a hug for coming on down. Uh, thanks to Weinstein Beverage and Dr. Pepper who powered our reports from Nashville. Remember, there's nothing like a Dr. Pepper and a Goo Goo Cluster.